Um, I started off at stage school. I, I went to a couple of stage schools when I was really young, just because I'm an only child and it's a good way to make friends. And then I kind of started to realise that I preferred the drama section of the class. So then I went and done just drama classes. So by the time I was about 15, I, I like I really knew that this was what I wanted to kind of have a go at after school. And then when I was doing my leave insert, like I had my place in the gaiety already. I'd done a lot of my drama classes in the gaiety when I was a kid and I really liked the environment. I really liked the teachers. Um, and then I went and done the youth theatre company in the gaiety as well. So I, I knew, I kind of knew then that that sort of pressure, I kind of thrived on that sort of pressure and that intensity. And as well as that, I was kind of 18 and I wanted a place that I wouldn't have to go and sit behind a desk and write essays. I wanted to learn on my feet. And it, was, it is the only like primarily practical course for drama in Ireland. Yeah, I, I loved manifesto class. That's, that was probably my favourite class. Um, I never considered myself a writer or director or producer or anything like that and it kind of gives you that safe bubble to try things in and fail in and um, yeah, I think once we all left, we all found a, a little bit of a writer in us and now we're kind of all starting to produce our own stuff as well as, you know, obviously looking for work elsewhere. So that, yeah, that was a real positive about the gaiety. Anything that's offered really, I'd kind of do anything to learn right now, bar obviously, the, you know, dressing up as animals and stuff like that. My parents, my mum and my dad, I, I say that because they're the, theirs is the opinion that I care about most. So, um, you know, when I'm finished doing a show or anything, I, I want to rush out and I want to see what they thought of it. And I'm kind of intent on assuring them that I did make the right decision. Um, my dad has a thing now that he does. He, he sends me break a leg before every show in a different language. So, yeah, they're definitely the people that I care about and I care about their opinion the most. I'd be reluctant to give tips just in case in the next two years I turn out to be an absolute flop and people laugh. Um, but I would say, no, I would say, just not, to not take yourself too seriously. Because when we were in first year, we had an acting teacher called Maureen White, and her motto kind of was, We're just playing. And I think that's really important because I mean, you're not doing brain surgery, so like, don't take the fun out of it. Yeah.